going on? Samar here from Linear Drip Line. So today we are reviewing a brand new 2018 Chevy Traverse RS model. Brand spanking new, just got off the lot. So let's get down to this review. Right off the bat, as you can see, it's got these beautiful LED Xenon headlamps that come standard on the RS model. Now they have the Traverse, they have you know, the lower packages of course, LS, LT, then we have the RS, which is the sport version. It comes with a Chevy black bow tie as you can see. It comes with the black uh, matte and gloss grill. Let's come on over here and I'll show you some other options. Well, two of the biggest options is one is going to come with the Ecotech turbo engine which only comes stock with the Chevy Traverse RS. And come on over here, check out these wheels here. 20 inch stock Chevy, they're called the Android wheels. Charcoal Android wheel which comes stock with the RS package. Lock nuts do come standard with the vehicle. Alright, so this vehicle is a let's see one two three four seven passenger SUV it's got the front two rows and if you come around we're going to check out the back captain chairs right guys welcome inside here so let's have a look so it's got a beautiful leather interior it's got the gray stitching or the brown stitching it's got two front chairs obviously it's got two captain chairs and it's got a bench in the back now captain chairs right off the bat are awesome for people to go in and out it's also got roof air which comes standard on the RS um, it came with the Chevy rubber floor mats. That was an extra option we paid for. Now, plenty of room here. Plenty of leg room. The seat's in the normal position. Right here, we've got a ton of room. Now, we had a 2017 Ford Explorer that we had before this, and we traded it for the Chevy Traverse because the Ford Explorer is much tighter. It had very high rockers and very bad second row. And third row is very tight. So right off the bat, this is very spacious. If you're looking to buy a seven or eight, uh, six to seven passenger vehicle, and not have the minivan and something that's really stylish, you could definitely get this. Now let's go to the front here. Let's have a look. Uh, power windows, power locks, which is a given. So right off the bat, the uh, RS package comes standard with a Bose Audio Premium Sound System. Okay, it is two-wheel drive, in the, so it's front-wheel drive, but it also has a snow mode and an off-road or an ice mode right there. A regular and a snow mode, cup holders, electronic parking brake, standard shifter. Let's turn the accessory on here. LCD screen. And on the RS, it comes stock with factory navigation. As you can see, it's loading. It's got all your options here. It's got the sound options, phone options, compass, as well as this, as well as the uh, camera. It also has hidden compartment in the back like the Cadillac Escalades. Now, the RS package comes standard with a gloss black piano finish. It has overdrive, AC included, obviously. Uh, steering wheel controls for volume and moving the controls forward. We have cruise control. Uh, this one right now is 1600 kilometers. Now I'm going to show you guys the option here. See, I'm going to start this up for a quick second. I'm going to show you the rear view mirror. Now if we can come inside and see the rear view mirror. Sorry about the noise guys, but the rear view mirror here has two options. Right now is a constant camera in the back that shows you exactly what's behind you or you can flick it forward and turn it back to the regular mirror. If not, you push the tab forward and it displays the screen all the time, which is pretty cool. Okay, we got a uh, standard OnStar here, SOS button, Bluetooth hands-free. Now let's come back out here and give you the overall review of the vehicle. Like I said, we drove a 2017 Ford Explorer before this. The Explorer was a decent vehicle, but actually, this turned out to be the much better value, much better vehicle. Obviously much bigger, longer wheelbase than the Explorer. Very spacious as you can see. A great room in the middle and third row. It's also got the four cylinder Ecotech with boost on it, with turbo, which does give that extra pep. But one little downside about the Ecotech is that, you know, it does have plenty of pep off the line, but you're not gonna, at some times the engine is hesitant, or it also sometimes feels like you're driving kind of, you know, the engine just kind of not stalled, but gives you that feeling. Definitely, it's not a V6, it's a four-cylinder, but 99% of the time, it doesn't make any difference. The truck's got plenty of power and pep. We had a full load of people the other day. We were on the highway, no questions asked. And also standard on the RS is the fuel engine shutdown. So when you come to a stoplight, the engine's going to die, and then it's going to re-kickstart on its own when you give it gas, which can help you save you fuel, and it's going to give you, obviously, better eco-friendly for the environment. So 2018 Chevy Traverse on a scale of 1 to 10, should I buy it overall, combine the interior space, exterior design and everything, I give this Traverse a solid 8.5 to 9 out of 10. Just for the fact that the inside is very spacious, it's priced exactly competitive with the, two, with the Ford Explorer and the Toyota, Toyota Highlander in its class, 
And this Chevy Traverse has more standard options than the Explorer and Traverse put together. Like I said, with the Xenon headlamps, fuel, uh, fuel shutdown engine, 20 inch standard gloss Android uh, wheels. These are all additional options that if you were to buy a base model SUV in this class, you have to pay extra. So the RS is a great vehicle. Thanks for watching my 2018 review of the Chevy Traverse RS. My name is AMR. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Hilliard Dreamlines and my personal account at AMR Sierra, A M A R S I H R A. If you have any questions about the truck, give me a call at 1 905 528 3500. Comment below. Thanks, guys.